Former Browns quarterback Bernie Kosar says concussions are the reason he's no longer the team's TV commentator. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN Browns reporter Pat McManaman. Pat, uh, Kosar says concussions have slurred his speech. Has his slurred speech affected his work? Kerry, I, I would say in one case it did uh, when he made some unfortunate comments about Callan Clemens and the St. Louis Rams that didn't go over with the Rams at all. Uh, personally, I thought that was much ado about nothing. But in general, Bernie's pretty good on the air. He's pretty ins insightful. He can diagnose a play before it starts. He can break down a, a pass route and wh why a quarterback threw where he did and why he should or shouldn't have. He's actually very good, very insightful. And if you get past the slurred speech, which is there at times, uh, you, you get some really good information. So are there any other reasons for his ouster then? Well, the whole Kellen Clemens thing with the Rams was an issue. Uh, I believe Joe Banner called it unprofessional, and Bernie supposedly called Jeff Fisher to apologize. He then went on the air the next week and basically gave a non-apology apology where he said, I love the game, I don't ever want to insult anybody, but I feel passionately about the game, and I'm going to broadcast the way I best see fit. And in Cleveland, that went over pretty well. In October then, he got a DUI, which didn't help his cause. Kozar is certainly a beloved uh, figure in Cleveland, played for the Browns from 85 to 92. How has the city reacted to the, this news? <laughs> Predictably. It's not the outrage uh, when he was cut as a player, but there's a lot of disappointment. And in part, I have to be honest, in part a lot of the disappointment is because he was very good on the air, and, and he was very honest, and, and he was one of Cleveland's people. And he also wasn't afraid to criticize. He would criticize Browns players easily, as well as anyone else on, on another team. Uh, you put that all together, there was a connection with him. Uh, he understood the community, he understood Cleveland, and he kind of hit all those high notes in his statements that he tried to bring all that to the broadcast, which is kind of another masterful uh, job by him of getting his message across. And, and so people are pretty disappointed. And I, I also think they're disappointed uh, because I don't think they view Solomon Wilcox as one of theirs. And I think in preseason games, people uh, locally at least want to uh, have one of their own because they can identify him with them. It's a little different from a national broadcast. I just think, you know, the Browns, I don't know if they needed to make this move. They obviously felt they had to. I don't know if they needed to, but I think it, it maybe underestimated the popularity of Bernie in Cleveland. Absolutely. That's ESPN Browns reporter Pat McManaman. Pat, thank you. Thank you, Kerry. For the latest on the Browns, be sure to check out the NFL Nation blog. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headlines.